Okay guys, this next uh, pickup vid or whatever you want to call it, review vid of Theodore. Um, this one is the Master of the Universe Classics. Um, and uh, this is the Standor action figure. Uh, it's based off of Stan Lee, so I had to grab it because I love Stan Lee. But um, this is the box that he came in. It's from uh, it's from MattyCollector.com, but I actually bought it on eBay. Uh, and I got him actually cheaper on eBay, even though it was like new, which is kind of weird. But so here's the box. I haven't opened them yet. It's Adult Collector, Mattel. And his name basically, there's not much on these boxes on the outside. So let me just get him out and I'll get back to you. Here's Standor out of his package, or out of the box anyway. <laughs> He's still in package, but this is what he looks like before opening. He got this cool shades on and the sparkly armor. We'll go around to the back really quick. They got him stand next to Orko. <laughs> and they made him a little character bio. Let me zoom in on this and I'll get back to you. Here's his bio. I won't read it, but you guys can. <laughs> I got a little chest cold, so I can't do this. So I would just pause the vid if you want to read that. But uh, he, he was from MattyCollector.com. This is the back of the box. And this is Standor, Master of the Universe Classic. I'll just open them up really quick and get back to you. Hey, true believers! <laughs> this is uh, Stan Standor out of the package. Uh, he actually looks really cute. He has sunglasses on, or whatever you want to call them. <laughs> His prescription sunglasses. To do. Um. He has a little smile on his face as far as I can see. Sparkly armor. Looks like he has pretty good uh, hair. Got uh, paint going on there. Let me heck. That's his butt. That's his boots. He is going glam with his armor here. His arm articulation. And his leg articulation. And the head, which I think goes pretty much side to side. <laughs> I don't want to spin it all the way. Alright, maybe I can. It looks like a horror movie. <laughs> what is that? And I don't know if we can take off the armor. Let's see if we can do that. I'll do that after uh, I pause it. But yeah, so so far this is what he looks like. I'll take a little peek underneath. Ooh, he's pretty buff. <laughs> so that's that's him in his armor. He's like, ta-da! Um, all right, let me try to remove this helmet and I'll get back to you. Okay, so this is Standor without his helmet on. Uh, I don't think you can remove any of the other armor. Um, the hands and the leg armor is attached. Um, and the chest armor I don't think will come off unless you pop off his head, which I'm not going to do right now. But uh, it looks like it's floating, so you could probably remove that. So that is him without his head armor. It's actually a pretty good uh, detail on his face there. <clears throat> Does the hair paint? And his like unmistakable face, they just did a good job in his face sculpt. So there's him without the head armor, and then we can actually remove the glasses as well, so let me do that. And they also did a great job on the eyes. He has a lot of life in them. <laughs> so there is Standor. Let me just and he stands pretty well by himself. I think I'm standing right now. Okay, let me see a size comparison here. I'll place him on a mount and see like how how well he sits on him. Hold on one second. 
Okay, so here is Thandor on Cringer, but I think this is not the kitty for him. I have another kitty that I think I'll put him on and see if you guys think he looks a little bit better. Alright, I got one more. It's Thandor on Panthor, which looks pretty awesome. I think it goes together well with him. Maybe it's the colors, I have no idea, but I'm gonna have him on my shelf riding pants or because I don't have Skeletor. <laughs> um, so that's pretty much it for Standor. If you have any questions, comment below. If you like this video, like it. And subscribe if you're already, you're not already subscribed to me <laughs> if you wanna see more of these vids. Okay, bye.